Okay, question 9 is all about changing the subject of a formula and um, substitution. So let's have a look at this one. We've got this 5t plus 3 equals 4w brackets t plus 2. Rearrange this to make t the subject. Most of these ones at this level you're going to have to factorise somewhere. So let's have a look. We've got 5t plus 3 equals, let's multiply the brackets out. Uh, 4, and I'll put an alphabetical order because that's standard practice, 4TW plus 2 4s at 8, W. Now let's get the T's on the same side of the equal sign, so I'll take the 4TW over, so I've got uh, 5T, take away 4TW equals, let's take the 3 over, so I've got 8W minus 3. Now let's, this is the bit here, we're going to factorise the t's out, because that's what we want on its own, to make t the subject. So we're left with t, then 5 minus 4w equals 8w minus 3. Just check it, t times 5 is 5t, t times minus 4w is minus 4tw, so that's correct. Now we have a t times something, so the opposite or inverse of times is divide, so you get t equals 8w minus 3 over or divided by 5 minus 4w. That's our part done. Okay, uh, part b. Work out the exact value of t when w is negative 1 -eighth. So let's put the values in. I think it's easier if you try and work out as much as you can without the calculator. If not, if possible, work the whole lot out. Very often they work out fine. Um, but try to do as much as you can without the calculator because you tend to make mistakes with brackets and negatives. So let's just substitute W as negative one eighth. So we've got T equals 8W, and we'll replace that with minus one eighth, minus three, all over 5 minus 4w and w I'll put minus 1 eighth again. Okay. Uh, if I just come down here, 8 times minus 1 eighth. Remember, 8 is just uh, any whole number is over 1. And it's just like multiplying fractions. So I've got 8 over 1 times m uh, minus 1 eighth. So you can either cancel or just multiply the top, multiply the bottom. 8 times minus 1 is minus 8 over 8, which equals what, minus 1. I would personally like to cancel there and there. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 8 once, and you end up with minus 1. Let's look at the other part here. Um, minus 4 is minus 4 over 1 times by minus 1 eighth. I'm just going to cancel again. Uh, so you get 4 goes into 4 once and 4 goes into 8 twice. Then multiply the top, multiply the bottom. Remember, minus times a minus is a plus, so you're going to get a positive answer. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So we've got minus 1 there and a half there. So let's put that back in. So it's going to be minus 1 minus 3 over 5 plus a half. So I've got minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 over 5 plus a half is 5 and a half. What I'm going to do, rather than put 5 and a half, I'm just going to convert that to an improper fraction. 5 and a half is just 5 times 2 is 10, add 1, 11 over 2. Now you can just put this in the calculator and work it out. I'm just going to do it by hand just for a bit of practice. So we've got minus 4. If we divide by this fraction, what you do is when you uh, change and divide by fractions, if you change it to a times, and you turn the fraction upside down. So it's times by 2 over 11. And remember, the minus 4 goes in line with the 2 because that's the same as minus 4 over 1. Now just times the top, times the bottom. Uh, minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And 1 times 11 is 11. So the answer is minus 8 elevenths. 
in simplest form, which that is what it asks for. And that's it.